Hey guys, this is Jacoli of Jacoya Gems. Thank you for once again coming back home, family. For those of you that happen to be new here, I definitely hope that you hear something that will persuade you to stay. Now, if you have not already done so, what are you waiting for, y'all? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, comment down below, like the video, and share this to your social media platforms. And above all, share this with your family members who claim to be african-american who believe that they have no history because this is possibly applicable to your family so you guys see it this is a document that is not fully legible but it's from the united states government to all um who present shall come greetings to where is anthony barnett and so anthony barnett so my grand my grandfather is robert holiday his mother jacolia barnett her father, Anthony Burnett, her grandfather, Miles Burnett, her great-grandfather, Anthony Burnett. So this is him. And this is between him and the American government. Okay. And it states that this treaty is on the 24th of April of 1820. And this is the selling of his land. How do we prove that outside of this barely legible document? Right here. This is him, Anthony Barnett. You see his land? So if we go to Mississippi today, we can find these coordinates. I actually looked them up on the website and they came up. And then you will see that this issue date was in 1841, right? And we talked about the 1830s and we talked about the 1840s. But when was this treaty created? Look, April 24th, 1820. This was a cash sale of this Choctaw land. And the assignee was Thomas McGee. And we're not even going to look him up right now. My grandfather had 80.31 acres of land. Let's see if this is historically accurate. Let's see if he was a Choctaw, okay? So this is okhistory.org. Remind you, the Oklahoma Choctaw Nation was basically built off the back of the Mississippi Choctaw Nation. Let's prove this. The history of the Choctaw Nation in Oklahoma began in 1820 when tribal leaders in central Mississippi signed the Treaty of Dokes Stand, ceding rich cotton lands in the Delta region east of the Mississippi River for approximately 13 million acres in the Canadian, Kiamichi, Arkansas and Red River watersheds in southeastern Oklahoma. So, this is just showing you that my grandfather sold his land and he decided to stay in the deltas of Mississippi. And so, in the pre Civil War years, slavery was an overriding issue. The American Board of the Commissioner for Foreigners Missions rejected slavery unequivocally. But the missionaries themselves, some of who had labored among the Choctaws since 1818, realized that they lived in a nation with many leaders who embraced the institution. So this is what was taking place in Mississippi in the early 1800s to our Choctaw American Indians, Native Americans, whichever you guys want to use it. Um, this was their land. Oh, for